Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. This video is part of a series of videos explaining the settings in Magic Samplitude Pro X7. Most of it will apply to prior versions, X6, 5, 4, and so on. So, today we're talking about... Please, by the end of this video, click on like. If you like that kind of content, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications for new videos. And of course, if you want to help the channel, go in the description, there are some links if you want to buy a Magix uh, product and some merch. And of course, share my videos. And let's go. All right, we open Samplitude, close this window. It why? So we're talking about the system options, audio devices. As you see, all the inputs are at the top and the playback, the uh, software output is at the bottom. Depending on your audio interface, you will see the inputs and the outputs. Uh, and for my interface, uh, those playback will be on a different uh, level. If I open the mixer, this is Total Mix Effects from RME. So the inputs are on the top and then uh, the software outputs. So what exit Samplitude is right here. And those here are the physical outputs. So I can mix any inputs, any return from the software to any of those outputs. But this is, uh, from RMA only, uh, many uh, an interface has different mixers and different features. So maybe yours will have the corresponding uh, physical input and physical output directly if the uh, interface does not have a real-time mixer. So you see, uh, I've already renamed some outputs and I'm gonna do the same thing up with the uh, inputs. You can't change those first numbers. They will always be in in that order. So if I change one, let's see, maybe I take this one and I change the order. I put it on top. You, whoops. Uh, you see, it's still one and two on the first row, but uh, it points out to the analog nine and ten uh, of my interface. So right here, uh, 9 and 10, uh, 11 and 12 will be the next ones. So what I can do is rename it RMA and RMA. So those are the preamps of the RMA interface. And after that, what I did is I decided to name every input um, the name of the uh, preamp that is always connected to it. If you switch the inputs for different instruments and one input uh, uh, is serving for many things, you might not want to do what I just did. But for me, I know that 5 and 6 will always be an ISA preamp and also here ISA preamp, ISA and ISA. So I know that my first physical preamp in my rack on my left are uh, four different RMA preamp inputs. And after that, I have eight uh, ISA preamps. So they are all in order now. And so when I choose an input, I'll know exactly which one to choose uh, rapidly. And this one is an AES input. On this one, I connected my two Universal Audio LA610 via a digital converter, a MyTech Stereo 96. So I will call it UA LA610. And of course, I have two of those. So it will be 13 and 14. And uh, down from there, I have a four channel manly. So I will call this 
manly force and of course you can copy and paste to go faster if you want so manly force and then the last preamps that I have are UA for 710 same thing here I'm gonna copy and paste if I open a project then on the tracks in the audio section in the inputs I will see the list and also in the mixer go there the inputs I will see the list and also the outputs they are listed as I chose a trick that you can do if you have many tracks to set up is to select them and then you can choose if they are all mono let's say and if I choose let's see uh, the ISC preamps it will ask if you want uh, subsequent tracks to follow the inputs number if you say okay they all change 5, 6, 2, 10 so you can go faster with your setup all right i hope you like this one don't forget to click on like subscribe and so on and uh stay tuned for the next videos they will go through all the settings maybe one by one i'm trying to uh, limit myself so the videos are not too long so see you for the next one